this one we can't just integrate and go from the upper limit to the lower limit, can we? Because we've got this area in here that is going to be negative, and this area in here that is going to be positive, and that's going to offset each other a little bit. So what do we need to do? Yeah, so we need to split this function that we're integrating with respect to x. We need to integrate it from... 2 and 0, between 2 and 0 of this function with respect to x, and we need to have the absolute value of that a. So that's why I'm going to have the absolute value of that, and we're going to add it to from 0 to negative 4 of the same function with respect to x. Does that give you the starting point of that particular question? Right, so now what we're going to do is pause. Now what I'm integrating is between 2 and 0 of x cubed plus 2x squared minus 8x with respect to x. Making sure I've got the absolute value of that. And we're going to add on the integral from 4, 0 to negative 4, sorry, of the same thing. So far, all good? Any questions with that? Yep. So, you're talking about these numbers over here? Yeah. Zero, the bigger number goes on top. Copy that. So now I'm going, okay, from here I'm going to integrate that. That's going to be x to the power of 4 over 4 plus 2x cubed over 3 minus 4x squared. Are you happy with that? Yep. yep. Again, between 2 and 0, but making sure I've got the absolute value. And I'm going to add on x4 over 4 plus 2x cubed over 3 minus 4x squared from 0 to negative 4. Okay. And now all I do is I just plug my numbers in and see what comes out of my calculator. Is that good? So I'll just move this over, get my calculator out. So substituting in 2 into this equation for my x's, hopefully that comes up gives me an answer of negative 6.6 .6 or negative 6 and 2 thirds. When I put 0 into that, I'm going to get 0, aren't I? So this is going to be the absolute value of negative 6 and 2 thirds minus 0, which is going to be 6 and 2 thirds. Are we happy with that? And then I'm going to add on the same thing, so I'll press pause. So I've just gone back through my calculator and and as uh, Daniel said, we're going to make that to be, rather than making it negative 4, we're going to be 4 to the power of 4 because that's an even number. I left it as negative 4 there because that's going to be a negative number, and I made it 4 because it's going to be a positive number. Anyway, okay? So here we're going to be adding on 0 minus negative 42. And two thirds was it? Okay, so we've got six and two thirds plus forty two and two thirds, which is equal to forty nine and a third. Thank you. Forty nine and a third. Happy with that? Okay. You can do that on your graphics calculator. I believe you need to do it in two parts though. If you do it in one part, you're going to get 42 and two thirds minus the six and two thirds. Yeah. Okay, so you need to do it in two parts on your calculator, which maybe I might show in the video if we can have time. You guys want me to show that or not? Yeah. Okay. Questions? So if I'm on my calculator here trying to do this question, I'm going through 
to the graph function. This is how I do it. Okay. So I'm going back to the graph function. I'm going back to what the actual equation is, which is x into x plus 4, x minus 2. Get another bracket in there. Does that look like my graph? Yep. Zoomed out. No, that's not right. What have I done wrong there? No. I need to make that as uh, x plus 4. Okay, so there's our function. Happy with that? Happy with that? But I've shown you guys, you need to make it so that your view window, your dots are at point 0.1. Okay, my max needs to go, well that'll do my max, won't it? And now I go shift graph solver, so shift F7. Go along F6 to the uh, integral part there and go from... To all the way down to where it comes back. Here's my 42 and two thirds. Okay. And then I go back and do the same thing and go graph solver, derivative of that, but just go on the other side, which would be. There to there, that negative six and two thirds, make that a positive, add the six and two thirds and the 42 and two thirds and we're away. Happy? Seem easy enough? What do you need an understanding of to do these questions? Pardon? Okay. will help you, yeah, yeah, but you need to understand what the graph looks like first. Okay. So that's where your graph stuff from level two would have came in handy. Any other questions? All right.